Hi everyone, it's Shavaya Loves Makeup, and in this video I would like to do a review of a couple of products from a particular skin line that has been helping me a lot with my cystic breakouts when I do get them. Cystic acne is a theme that I've talked about through many of my videos on this channel. I know it's hormonal, for me at least. Um, I do think it can be exacerbated by stress. And the third thing that people often tie to cystic acne is diet. Uh, they say so the general, a general comment is that diet, um, dairy exacerbates cystic acne and people have done an elimination diets to see if that is really the case. I don't drink milk, but, um, I drink soy milk and almond milk because that's what my daughter likes, but there is no way. I can <clears throat> realistically take out cheese from the diet, my diet, or take out gluten. My gosh, how I think that's hard for any individual by themselves, but if you've got a child or if you've got children, it's really, really hard to be that strict in a diet um, because you can't, for me, I can't model a behavior and then expect something else of her. And so I'm not gonna eat bread she loves bread and that's part of like our culture as a family is we're going to eat bread sandwiches she's at an age where she is still figuring out what she likes in terms of food i certainly don't want her to get to the more picky spectrum of things so i want to keep the food range as open as possible so i don't think an elimination diet is going to work for me because i've got a family to consider um, i also don't find it realistic at all if i could i would go dairy free but gluten free seems a little bit um, drastic. If you have opinions on that part from this video, please let me know below. If you've had good experiences with going gluten-free, dairy-free, and it's really helped your cystic acne, please let me know. I know the one thing that really really works is Accutane. <sighs> Not gone on Accutane. Uh, another thing is probably birth control because that regulates your hormones. That's a consideration. So also, please let me know. Have you done those two things? I have been on um, birth control before and it's hit or miss sometimes if you get the right uh, birth control with the right amounts of whatever hormones you need it does work I recall that prior to having my daughter I'm on a different birth control not the oral contraceptives that that I'm talking about that are supposed to help so I might consider going back on the oral contraceptives to see if that works but my cystic acne is just something that I can count on to be exacerbated uh, during that time of the month, quote unquote, and stress related, exacerbated. Now, uh, these two products, I would like to give credit to Pink to Paris. Her name is Brooke. I will link her channel below. She is amazing. And she did a wonderfully thorough um, review of this particular line of skincare. She uses a lot of the products from this line. Her skin is amazing. and. After watching her video is when I decided I'm going to get a couple of those products because this is an expensive line, but um, I think it's worth the investment because I have found good results so far. So the line I'm talking about is Peter Thomas Roth. You may or may not be familiar with them. I buy the products off of Amazon. It's a very clinical line. Um, it's called Clinical Skin Care, and I've always wanted to try the products. The ones that I'm using right now are the Max Complexion Correction Pads. And what, what they are are just like exactly these pads soaked in um, this essence, which is, I'll tell you what it has, glycolic acid, 10%, which I know is a very good exfoliant. But the combination in this particular uh, product is I think what makes it more effective than whatever else is out there because it's got a combination of not just the glycolic acid 10% it's got 2% salicylic acid acid which in and of itself for me does not work uh, my skin has stabilized to just not be not react to salicylic at all but maybe salicylic acid works well because it is um, like a conduit or something because it works well with this and it just and it has um if there's a high amount of alcohol, but I, whatever, it seems to work. So this complex of glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and this is the clincher too, is it has a lot of soothing 
elements in it so it's not over drying your skin and creating a hot red mess on your hot red cystic acne anyway it just makes it worse when you dry out cystic acne it seems to get angrier so you need something that is a has some something that will be effective and get down deep into the pores but also that you usually have to use a moisturizer or something soothing but this already has that inherently in it um, it contains aloe vera ac extracts of chamomile and green tea just to name a few of the soothing properties there are more uh, it has some sort this is an artificial scent it's a he call, it's called peach bellini i like it doesn't bother me it's very very mild it's a clinical line so it smells a bit clinical to me uh that goes away very quickly this is <clears throat> pardon me this is uh, marketed for norm normal to oily skin types or problem skin that's me problem problem skin so um, this is 60 pads I don't again recall the prices if you just go on Amazon get the best deal you can it's still going to be expensive but I think it's worth it I was amazed because my skin has I use a lot of different I've used retin-a and tretinoin creams I still do that a couple days a week and then I alternate and use this probably once or twice a week because it's so strong it really really is which tells me that it's effective because my skin has been through years of acids acid treatment so it's not sensitive to anything and when I use something and I feel my skin reacting um, that's kind of a good sign for me because again I've tried so much that I feel like my skin is um, just non-reactive to anything non-responsive to anything so this is good I feel like I when I use it not every day and my skin doesn't get too accustomed to it it will um, if I have any cysts it will really shrink them quickly it won't it's not a miracle it won't make them go away I'll still have the cysts the cysts but then I put this on top which Brooke took, talks about it's the Peter Thomas Roth acne spot and area treatment so this is for spot treating after I put on the pads let that soak in this is I th again I think what is working because it's a combination this has 5% sulfur so if you go on acne.org or if you go on I don't know whatever discussion boards about acne people may say how there's a lot of people that say how effective sulfur is for spot treating so you've got sulfur and benzoyl peroxide salicylic acid you've got all these different things Sulfur is one that isn't talked about as much. It doesn't smell great. I can't recall. It, this doesn't smell too bad for a sulfur product. 5%. Again, what I think Peter Thomas Roth has got down is the um, combination uh, that really is working in the formula. This has vanishing sulfur, 5%, with a glycolic acid complex of 4%, and those soothing properties of aloe vera, it's got vitamin C and vitamin E and provitamin B5. That's a lot to claim, but I think it works really well as a spot treatment. Um, I had a cyst right here, and um, I used the pads, and then I put this on, and the next day it did shrink significantly. I could tell the difference. Now, again, it's not a miracle. I had to use it a couple days in a row, but it did shrink it without drying it out like benzoyl peroxide does which just dries your skin out if you have dry skin already it's terrible so i have found this to be great and effective as a spot treatment but again combination combination therapy i think is what i am learning this works great so just wanted to talk a little bit um and give you my opinion my review of peter thomas roth those two just those two products he has a whole skincare line I'd love to try more, Ugh, just so much. He has an uber dry um, moisturizing lotion with sunscreen that I want to try. It's got 30 SPF. He has the um, powder sunscreen that you can take in a jar like this, and it you just powder it on, and it's got SPF 30. He's got so many things. So anyway, um, thanks again to Brooke from uh, Pink to Paris for showcasing her line. Her link, the link is below to her channel. And again, if you, if you have any experience with the Peter Thomas Roth line, if you have the same kind of skin that I do as well, if you're in the same sort of profile, um, and especially if you have 
experience with these two products um, specifically, please let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, also let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.